the Willoughby River runs through the village of Orleans and also it flows into the Barton River. The Barton River flows out to Lake Memphremagog. In Lake Memphremagog, we have lots of different fish species, but one of them that is really kind of unique is what we call steelhead rainbow trout. When the conditions are right, you'll see them jumping out of the water. It gets anglers excited, but anybody, even if they don't fish, like seeing these big, beautiful fish jump out of the water. It's a chance for people that aren't normally fishing to actually see a, a fish, and a big one at that. When the water is high enough, and when maybe the water's a little bit colder, they can actually swim up through and you would never see them. But it's only when the flows are at just the right level and the water temperature is, is warm enough for them to have enough you know, energy and strength to actually jump out of the water that you'll actually see them. We have many different species of fish in Vermont, some that are native, some that are introduced. Some of them are more tolerant to poor habitat or pollution, that kind of thing. These steelhead rainbow trout, the fact that these fish are there surviving, reproducing on their own is an indication that we have good water quality. The water's clean enough to support these fish, to, su to support their entire life cycle from eggs to the juveniles and then out to the lake. So the fact that these fish can complete their entire life cycle in the Lake Memphremagog system and its tributaries indicates that we have good water quality and good habitat, which should matter to everybody because if we've got these species surviving and thriving, that means that conditions are good for the entire ecosystem, including us. That's cool. You got about five. Yeah, you think so? You got about five? Yeah. What's the best way to see these fish and you know, what's your tips for, hmm. for, for seeing fish jumping, Judd? Best time to go is usually going to be around late April, maybe into early May. You have to do one of two things. You have to get lucky and be there at the right time, <laughs> or you have to put your time in, because sometimes it, you just go there multiple times and eventually you get it. Because these fish, they need the right conditions in order to jump, it can be hit or miss. But you know, on a really good day, you might see over 10 fish jump in an hour. 